was involved in academia for 10 years in university and so when I started studying the course and working with it, I actually came upon a very interesting line in A Course in Miracles that said, the ego enjoys studying itself. And I took a note of that. I would say that Course in Miracles is to be lived, is actually to, to be lived as an experience. And so, you don't want to skip over the study part because those ideas that are like the bedrock, they're the foundation for the transformation of consciousness that's required to be happy and joyful and free. And it's not strange or unusual to study the Course for years and still feel stuck or still feel somewhat trapped or burdened. I would say the study part is just the first step and then that's why there's a workbook, workbook for students because the workbook is the practical application of what you're studying. So people don't generally talk about studying the workbook, they talk about studying the text and then actually applying or doing the workbook. It's very brief, it's one idea a day and there's very explicit instructions. Do this, do not do more than this. You know, it's very, very direct. And then you come to the manual for teachers at the end. So if you've been studying it for years and it's, you still feel that you're not whole and complete, you don't feel fulfilled, then it's time to really put your heart into the practical application on a moment by moment, day by day basis, which will open you to miracles. And that's what the Course is about. It's a Course in Miracles. It's not a Course in studying words, that, that's helpful, but you have to kind of give yourself over fully to it for the state of mind to come round right, so to speak, to, to come to right-minded and peaceful perception. So, there's a time for studying, but there's also a time for application.